Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here today to do a video from the boys from Brazil. Well, not all of them are from Brazil. There's one that's been imported into into Brazil, into the band. But I feel like he's kind of spent... He's become Brazilian now. He's yeah. an honorary Brazilian member. Uh, perhaps during this video, if you're Portuguese, you'll hear me cursing it multiple times. That's just comes with the territory. For this, I have Tourette's. Oh. Be beyond being dyslexic, I have Tourette's. So when I do Portuguese bands or, or oh. Brazilian bands, you just my Tourette's. You just remind me of the South Park episode what where Cartman uh, pretended he had Tourette's in <laughs> Your There's mother has Tourette's. Does she? Well, not really, but she curses a lot. Oh, so yeah, yeah. so therefore, I think she has Tourette's. All right, so uh, which pisses her off even more. Then she curses even more. So it's... You know me. I, it's like a, it's like a, I like a cycle. To, yeah, I like to insert knife and twist. All right, so Simple Tour, Isolation, brand new song, brand new video. By the way, these guys have a brand new album coming out next year, 2020. A lot of bands are already like giving us like little nuggets yeah. of, of what's in store for us as the new year approaches. 2020 is going to shape up to be another great year as far as metal is concerned. And Simple Tour said, hey, wait a minute, we're jumping on this train in 2020. We're releasing a new album. And they decided to give us a brand new track before the end of the year. Isolation. You ready for this? Yeah. We haven't done uh, Sepultura on the channel since we did Throwback Thursday. Actually, we've never done a Sepultura channel with, with the current lineup that they have on. So this yeah. is going to be your first time seeing this Sepultura lineup. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this.
thing wrong with this video is the crowd. Come on, man. I'm an old guy, and if I listen to this song live, I don't think I can stand still. Ugh. Unless I'm holding onto the railing for dear life as I'm getting sucked into a vortex of bodies and sweat and tears. Blood. <sighs> what did you think of that? Sepultura. Isolation. That was a nice jolt. That, that, that was a very nice jolt. Now it's kind of been a slow day, and now the rest of the day is going to be... You're, 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 you're woke. Yeah. You're woke. They, that the crowd wasn't though. No, it's from like the song, the energy level of the song was here. I wanted to the see, crowd's energy I was wanted here. To see people get thrown over the barricade. If this perform, okay, let me interrupt you for a second. If this performance was at Dynamo '89, that crowd, half of that crowd, would have ended up on top of the stage. Yeah, people would be putting their hands like this and just like catapulting people over the railing. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm a hundred thousand percent sure. The shows that I, I, I always say that North America crowd sometimes are not very hype. I, I think I have to change that statement. I've been to a few shows in uh, in, uh, in Toronto, and the crowd has been lit, yeah. lit. And I think a lot of it obviously has to do with with the age limit, if the show is all ages or not. And obviously, usually if the show is all ages, it's even it's, worse, right? Yeah. But uh, I've been to, uh, for example, Amon Amarth. I was expecting it to be really lit, and it wasn't as bad. As I thought it would be. Oh, it's because you were in the front. And maybe because I was in the front. Uh, I was, yeah. I was like holding onto your, yeah, onto yeah, your maybe, hoodie maybe. and getting sucked in. I know, but I, anyway, <sighs> let's not talk about that. Let's just concentrate on the song. What, what did you think of this of this song? What did you think of the vocals? What did you think of the guitar playing, the drum? To me, those are the three main things: vocals, guitar playing, and drums. So let's start with the vocals. What did you think of the vocals? Well, it's the first time I've actually heard the new Sepultura vocals, and they're actually. Oh, I like how you said sepultura. Yeah, they're actually really good. Yeah, a lot of aggression. A, a lot of aggression was just perfect for the song. Perfect. He he didn't slow down the song in, at all. If anything, his voice made the song feel like the song was even moving faster, if that's even possible. Yeah. Perfect vocals for this for this style and for this type of song. It just it, it, It's just like you have a fire and you're throwing gasoline into it. it, it that's exactly the best way to describe it. Uh, moving on into the drums, absolutely killer job on this track. The drums were killer, absolutely killer. They came in waves. I don't know if you noticed that. They would come in waves like with the double pedaling, and then they they would kind of move back again, and then they would come back again. Yeah. It, it was like it, they were coming in waves. It, it was absolutely phenomenal. It almost felt to me they were alternating based on how the guitar, uh, the aggression, the guitar was. The drums would become. Uh, almost as aggressive as the guitars, and then when, when the guitars would temper back a little bit, the drums would also temper back a little bit. Then when the guitars picked up in tempo, the, the drums would pick up. A, they were kind of both like going hand in hand. Yeah, I love that. One thing for me is a little bit of a concern, not a concern, but there's one thing I want to mention, and that's the guitars. They only have one guitar player, Andreas Kisser. I'm going to say this on record. Uh, uh, I'm not a guitar player, but Andreas Kisser has always been one of my favorite guitar players of all time. I grew up listening to Sepultura, as you know. Uh, Arise and Beneath the Remains were the two albums uh, that I think those were the first ever metal albums that I ever heard. I told the story before. I had the tape with one on each side, and, yeah. and I was bootlegging it for all my friends in high school. Um, I, I think the that crime, I don't think they can go back and charge me royalties anymore. I don't think so, because it's been like, what, 30 years now? I don't think yeah, they can do that. Yeah, and also all the things are gone. I, I, exactly, the tapes are gone. I end up, I, I have a rise in Beneath the Remains on CD. I end up buying them after, because once I know that tapes were kind of going like the way of the Dodo Bird, I decide to buy everything on CD. So, anyways, so those albums is my first ever metal albums that I listened to. So Andreas Kisser always played a big role as far as my metal taste is because I always looked up to him as, as like one of my favorite guitar players. Just not only from what he can do with the guitar, but just like his whole uh, style, yeah, like his, the, look. his look, the way he plays, you know what I mean? Uh, I remember back in the day he used to wear capris, you know, like like they were shorts, but they were cut a little bit below below oh, the yeah. knee. And you, the way you were rock, like I always liked his, his approach and his style. The only concern I have is... Uh, back in the day, they had two guitar players. Now they have one guitar player. If you notice this song, and I'm, I'm not talking about any other song, we're concentrating just on isolation. Yeah. There's a moment in this song where when he's playing the solo, you still hear the riff in the background. Live, you, you're one guy. Yeah. You can do the solo and play the riff at the same time. The song has that portion in it. it some, 
Some bands that only have one guitar player, when they put the songs together, when the solo comes on, sometimes the, the, the bass and the drums become more predominant in the background, so they kind of hide the fact that there's no guitar there because the, 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 the solo is kind of taking main stage and then they just use the drums and the, and the bass to kind of fill in the gap in behind it. Here in this track, they didn't do that. No. You still have the guitar riff chugging along as he's doing the solo. So to me, you can do that in the studio because you can record one and then record the other and they can superimpose. Yeah, but, but, but live, yeah, that's kind of uh, it's, I, I don't know how you, there's two ways about it. Either you do the solo and then you don't have the riff in the background, which it kind of changes the way the song sounds because the song is so you, heavy. Or you have the backtrack. The, yeah, backtrack. You can have the riff on the backtrack and just pop that off on when you're doing the solo so you don't lose it because the, 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 the main bass line of the guitar on this song is so heavy. It's so heavy. And when he speeds it up, like I said, it's like throwing gasoline into the fire. This track is killer. Killer. And by the way, did you see that logo that showed up? The coin with the skull? Yeah. That's the cover of the new album. Oh, that's going to be the cover of the new awesome. album. Yeah, I got the press release. I can't remember what the name of the album was. I got the press release. I posted it on our Facebook page. If you guys don't follow us on Facebook, I highly recommend it because all the press releases that I get for, for all the labels, I post everything on, on Facebook. So you'll find out about like tours, albums that are coming out, track lists. Like you, you'll get that information ahead of time because I get them as part of the press release. So if you follow us there, you'll, you'll find out all of that really good information. Uh, uh, you know that sometimes it's not available or or is available by other sites but as soon as i get it i put it immediately up there so that 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 coin that you see that's the cover of the new album nice it's really cool yeah really cool wow some sepultura caralho i told you Tourette's. 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 all right guys on that note anything else you want to add are you excited about this album yeah you know what i'm also excited i'm excited possible uh i'm sure it's going to happen once the album comes out north american tour yeah. toronto stop and we're gonna be there, unless it's not all ages. And then I'll be there, yeah. and and you'll be at home, crying in the corner in a fetal position. All right, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See you.